Hello again everyone, as usual, I am Buff Bud, and today we are going to be starting kind of a new series. Uh, today we are going to be starting Season 2 of Terraria. Uh, season 2, as you guys can already see, is going to be modded. I've never actually played modded Terraria before, but I have really wanted to try, so yeah. Um... I have heard amazing things about the Calamity mod for Terraria, so I figured I would uh, start off with that. And uh, to go along with that, I decided to add a bunch of um, uh, quality of life mods and um, uh, other mods that people have suggested to go with it. Uh, so let me open my mods folder and show you guys what I got. Uh, as you can see, I got a bunch of different mods here to uh, basically go along with everything. And that's gonna be it. I didn't want to make too big of a mod pack. Uh, I did want to just basically go with Calamity and then things to go along with it. So, yeah. Uh, so, because I am such a noob to all this, uh, what I did is I just googled how to install Calamity. And I found a bunch of different Reddit posts and all that to uh, help out. Uh, so if you guys want to do it, it's actually very simple. Uh, basically what you got to do is you got to go on to Steam, uh, download the Team Mod Loader DLC for um, uh, Terraria. And then you have to, uh, uh, what was it? It was, you have to download the, um, uh... 64-bit version of it just from online uh, if you want to add too many mods because the amount of mods I have here is not good enough for um, uh, the 32-bit version so just keep that in mind uh, also uh, I also looked around reddit to find a bunch of different uh, quality life uh, quality of life mods so that's where I found a lot of these things so yeah uh, also, uh, I should mention, as with every new series, um, the audio uh, might be a little bit off, so I'll have to do a little bit of fine-tuning with that. Uh, obviously, during editing, I will, you know, figure out if it's off, so, yeah. Um, I don't think there's much more to say, so let's jump right into it. Uh, I did create a, uh, a test character just to figure out how everything works, for the most part. Uh, as you can see, there's not even any actual time on here. I played it for apparently not even a minute uh, to get everything going. So, yeah. Um, we're going to create a new character. Um, huh. What kind of hair do we want? You know, I think I'll uh, just quickly cut this stuff out until I actually have a character that I like. So, I'll be right back. Alrighty. I got a character here. If you guys don't recognize this character... It's Fry from Futurama. I saw the hairdo and I was just like, yep, I gotta have that. So, yeah. Uh, let's create. Uh, oh, right. Uh, male, yep, softcore. Um, yeah, we're gonna keep it on softcore just because this is supposed to be a fun playthrough, not a uh, challenge run or anything. So let's create him. And obviously, we're just gonna name him Fry. The name doesn't really matter too much. Unless maybe it does it modded. I hope not. Anyway, let's submit. Alright go and these are all my current worlds that don't work because they were loaded up in 1.4 so yeah now we're gonna have to do a different one uh we'll do medium um yeah we're gonna well do we want to do normal or do we want to do expert eh, let's just do normal uh random and then the world what should we name the world hmm I wish there were a randomizer button. I feel like I should name it something season two, maybe? Sure. <laughs> I am unoriginal. There we go. Alrighty, so we got a Crimson World. Not bad. That means we can have access to Icor. Iker, Icor, whatever, however it's pronounced. I've heard people pronounce it in multiple different ways. Also, something I need to mention, uh, as with uh, any new playthrough, uh, the first episode is going to be a bit extra long, uh, comparatively, uh, just simply because, you know, 
getting the feel of everything, getting it out there, so yeah. Just so you guys aren't expecting like a 20 minute video or anything like that. Now, again, I have only played um, like maximum of like 5 minutes of modded just to test things out to make sure everything works smoothly. And I don't really know much about this, so yeah, this is going to be interesting. Why does that mountain look like a boot? Weird. Anyway, um, there was another thing I needed to mention. I don't remember what now. Huh. I can't remember. Generating planetoids? What? That's weird. Anyway. Oh man, Dunker, you guys remember that world? Season 1 right there. Alright, so let's play... Okay. Alright, so that's new over there uh, already. So we have a starter bag, uh, Revengeance. Enables, disables Revengeance mode. Can only be used in Expert mode. Activates Rage, when Rage is maxed, uh, press button. To activate Rage mode, you gain Rage whenever you take damage or hit an enemy with a true melee weapon. Uh, activates Adrenaline. When Adrenaline is maxed, press button to activate Adrenaline mode. You gain Adrenaline uh, whenever a boss is alive. Getting hit drops Adrenaline back to zero. All enemies drop 50% more cash and spawn 15% more frequently. Certain enemies and projectiles deal between 5% and 25% more damage. Uh, makes certain enemies immune to life steal and nerfs the effectiveness of life steal. Nerfs the effectiveness of titanium armor set bonus. Don't even know what that set bonus is. Makes life regen scale with your current HP. The higher your HP, the lower your life regen. This is not based on max HP. Oh, okay, I see. So, for example, if you have like 1 HP, your HP will uh, regenerate quicker. Uh, but if you have you know, 99 HP, it'll regenerate real slow, I guess. Okay. Asphalt run speed is reduced by 33%, and the nurse's healing cost is increased. Before you've killed your first boss, you take 20% uh, 20 less damage from everything. Changes all boss AIs and some enemy AIs in vanilla and the Calamity mod. Well, that can only be used in uh, expert mode anyway, so can't even really worry. Iron Heart. Uh, healing with potions and all positive life regen is disabled. Uh, enemy damage scales with your max health can be toggled on and off. Okay, family heirloom. Uh, okay, don't know what that's all about. Can I, like, equip that or something? I guess. Uh, key to the heart. Consumable. It feels oddly familiar. Stat sheet. Whoa. That's cool. Anti-buff. Use the toggle anti-buff mode. During anti-buff mode, you are immune to all buffs, not debuffs. Buffs with uh, without duration display are not disabled. What is that supposed to mean? Whatever. Bosses and mini-bosses may drop permanent boosting items. Uh, their effects uh, would only work if mode is on. Is that like a challenge thing? If you use that, then... Uh then you can't get buffs? Is that what that means? Uh, auto pause. Let's turn that off. Okay, it's active, it's disabled. Okay. Okay. Healing is disabled. Okay. Weird. Okay, then what is this? I, I don't know if I should do this. Oh. Okay, I can't do it. Weird. Okay, also, uh, just real quick, let me, uh, wait, what? I can't, oh my god, this thing has horrible range. Wow. Oh, negative one range, that would explain it. Um, I thought there was something to change the music. Wait, one defense. Why do I have one defense? Didn't I just have zero defense before? Weird, anyway. Also, I don't know what the heck this thing's all about. That's weird. Um, and then let's open our starter bag. Okay, so we have another sword. We have a slime crown already. Oh, here it is. Okay. Oh. 
There we go. Okay, so that activates the, uh, uh, Calamity music. Oh, look at that. We got Iron Ore already. Okay. We got potions. We got bombs. We got a hammer. That's kind of cool. Uh, we also got a staff. That's cool. Um, let's see. We got a Amethyst staff. Don't know what that's all about. Okay, so just an early game, uh, magic weapon. And a mana crystal. Okay, I'll use that. Throwing bricks. Prove its resistance by throwing it upwards and then catching it with your face. <laughs> Throws a brick that shatters if stealth is full. Huh. Okay, don't know what that's all about. Whatever. Um, let's quickly break that. Yeah, our, st our uh, spawn point is like right around here, give or take. It might not be exactly here, but it's fine. Okay, so... Okay. Let's just throw everything in here for now. I'll sort it out later. Okay. Uh, sort items, there we go. Okay, so... Uh, this one does more damage. Um, we could use this, but we don't have any... Oh, we do have arrows. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, let's get that. Let's get the axe. Let's get the hammer. Torches. Blocks. Uh, we don't even really need hardly any of these things. Let's see. Bosses and mini bosses may drop permanent boosting items. Huh. Yeah, I don't know what half of this stuff is. If you guys know what this stuff is, please let me know. Oh, right. Let's also get this. Actually, no. Let's, uh. I like to have my staffs, uh, like right there. Give or take. Okay. Uh, alt. Alt. Okay. There we go. So let's uh, summon a squirrel, I guess. Uh, how many squirrels? Only one. Okay. Let's put that away for now as well. Okay. So, let's check this thing out first. God, I'm so slow. I'm so used to being OP from my uh, um, 1.4 game. Mutant statue. Mutant's gift. Toggles Eternity Mode, entailing the following. Changes World to Expert Mode, changes all Vanilla and Souls mod boss, uh, boss AIs, and many enemy AIs. Compatible boss drops, uh, bosses drop additional loot, including exclusive accessories. Rebalances many weapons and certain mechanics. Introduces new debuffs and possible debuff sources. Increases cash from enemies and adds certain drops. Increases spawn rates. Cannot be used while a boss is alive. Uh, not intended for use with other content mods or modded difficulties. So, not entirely sure what we should do about that. Alright. So let's uh, throw that in there. Uh, I don't know if we're going to use that one, so I'll just throw it in there for now. Okay, so the first thing we need to do, as you would with any Terraria playthrough, is we need to collect wood. Jesus Christ, this is so slow. Oh my god. We need to collect wood and start a uh, starter house. Because I do not trust the knight. Okay. Actually, wait a minute. This is technically a buff, isn't it? What would happen if I were to use this? It does nothing. Uh, buffs without duration are not disabled. Oh, okay, so since the squirrel isn't uh, disabled, then technically it's not doing anything. Okay. Alright, anyway. Uh, we need to get more wood. so slow, dude. I hate it. Okay. I don't know how much wood we're gonna need, but for a quick starter home, we're gonna need at least something to protect us. Okay, so we have a little hole in the ground over there. That could be a kind of cool house. If not for us, at least for an NPC later on. Speaking of NPCs, apparently with all the mods I have, uh, we're gonna have like an additional like 12 NPCs, I think. Something along those lines. Okay. 
Also, something I haven't really touched upon. Uh, this thing down here, uh, I don't know what that's all about, but uh, we do have this little thing here that shows us uh, how to craft basically everything in the game. So, like, let's say we want to craft party bullets. Uh, we would need empty bullets and confetti. Um, I wonder... Um, heart chocolate? Weird. Okay. Uh, I was kind of wondering if there was a way to craft heart crystals, but it doesn't look like it. There we go. Just wanted to know. Let's, uh, turn that off. We can't do that. Oh, I can do that whenever. It doesn't even have to be in a menu. Okay. Wow, we have barely any freaking uh... Acorns are ammo? That's weird. What are they ammo for? Also, our guide is doing the work. He is saving our life. Hey, bunny. Please don't walk in my path. I don't want to kill you. There we go. Alright, so we got that. Um, let's just chop these, uh, four trees down here, leading up to that little stone area where the statue was. And then I think that should be a decent amount of, uh, wood. I mean, it is becoming night anyway, so we're gonna need a, a starter home soon. I think the bigger the tree is, the longer it takes to chop the wood, actually. I think it actually recognizes that. Maybe. Oh well. Anyway. Okay, so we got wood. So... Okay. Let's break that. Hey, worm. Hey, worms. Okay, so... Right away, we're gonna have to start with, um... Getting rid of the ground. So we can have, uh... uh, uh, uh wow. Holy stutter. Uh, we're gonna have to get rid of the ground so we can replace it with, um, wood. And let's also just break this little mini hill. Okay. Uh, I think that should be good. Can I break this? I can. Although it replaces the sound now, so that's unfortunate. There we go. I don't know how far out that is. Probably not far enough. That definitely look un that looks unbalanced. How far is that? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's do ten. Nine, ten. Okay. Ten on each. Ah, oh, come on, dude. Get the frick out of that hole. Can't really not get this guy. I don't think I can get this guy. There we go. Okay. Uh, wait. I think this one needed to be wood, right? I hope. Let's see. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 24, 25, 26. Okay, yep. And over on this side, we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay, so let's get rid of one of them then. Okay, uh, that there. Something like that. Thank you, squirrel. I need to name him. I'll name him Bob. Alright, let's loot that real quick. Remove that. Okay, so now we have at least a uh, little starter platform. I think that's where it was, I hope. Oh well, we'll figure it out. Okay, so we have that. Let's uh, build up the walls a little bit. That's as high as I can reach, apparently. Okay. There we go. Alright, so let's get some lights down so it's not super freaking dark for you guys. Okay. And let's make our first workbench. And now doors. There we go. You. 
Now, if you guys didn't see my uh, first season, um, I am not by any means... Oh, right, I forgot to put the uh, sound thing down again. Where is it? There it is. Uh, I forgot to... Uh, er, if you guys haven't seen the uh, season one, fair warning, I am not by any means a good builder. So, if you guys came here for building content, then you guys will be sorely, sorely mistaken. Build this up a couple more blocks. Um, that should be good, I think, right? Maybe. I kind of like that, yeah. That seems like a decent height for a starter home. Gives us a couple chest uh, things. Uh, space, uh, a little bit of space for chests, I should say. Okay. Oh, don't like that. If I need to, I will block off that door so the zombie man cannot get in. Okay. Apparently in normal mode, they cannot break doors down. So that's good. Uh, maybe that's a expert mode thing? I don't know. Anyway. Um, what do we want to do? I suppose let's put a little bit of light out here as well. guy that's going to get us killed. There. Okay, now let's put this over here. There we go. Okay, so now he cannot do anything. There's a bunny stuck in there. Nice. Dang it. I need a candle. Can I make a candle? I don't think I can. Um, I wonder how you make a candle. That's all I need. Uh, I need gold? That sucks. Water candles just with other candles. That's kind of cool. Yeah. And there's this one. Spirit droplet. Interesting. This is going to take a lot of getting used to. I'm just telling you guys that right now. Okay, yeah, so there's nothing we can do about that. So, let's just uh, put that right there for now, I guess. Alright. These guys are really annoying. For a zombie kill. Why is the squirrel not coming out and helping me? Squirrel, you betrayed me. There we go. By the way, uh, as it is probably aware. As you guys are probably aware, I should say. I do not know the progression line for everything. So, I'm probably not going to do things the quote-unquote correct way. So, I apologize about that. Like, apparently there's a new first boss. Uh, instead of uh, Eye of Cthulhu. So, yeah, I don't know much about that, though. Or how I'm supposed to do that. Come on. Alright, fine. Whatever. Okay, so... I think what I want to do now is I want to, uh... At least, uh, uh, just start making some platforms. Uh, where are the platforms? They're somewhere around here. I know they are. Yeah, they are. Let's make 50. That should be good for now. Okay, um... Is there a way I can turn down just their volume? Would that be sound? There. That's that's a lot better. That is horrible. Okay. 
So I want to put a thing of chests right here. And go down to this so right here then. Okay. How many chests can fit in a space like this? Uh, actually, now that I'm looking at it. That's one, two. Meaning the next one will be right here. So maybe I'm going to put the ceiling up by one. I find it weird how you break the trees with an axe, but you break the um, the wood planks, I guess, with a pickaxe. Doesn't really make any sense if you ask me. Okay. There we go, and then right here. Okay. Okay, so there's that one. that one. Okay. Um, I guess I could just do this. Just go along and build the uh, ceiling higher. Okay. And there is a mod in here called Magic Storage, I think it's called. I don't know anything about that mod or how I'm supposed to use it yet. So, yeah. Also, hmm. I suppose I could do this. That wouldn't hurt. Yeah, I could do that. That's fine. Okay. Alright, so let's go to the platforms again. And then right above the torch, I can't actually do it from here. Okay, so now we have uh, some little storage area going on. I can't reach that, dang it. There we go. Okay. Um, let's see. too used to being able to um, just replace blocks in um, uh, 1.4 that it's going to take a lot of getting used to. I remember in 1.4 if you were to, um, uh, it was control, no it was, it was shift. If you were to shift click something then it would, um, uh, it would like shift into any spot, like for example it would take the gel and shift it over into ammo but uh, now it's gonna be um, uh, putting it into the garbage because control in 1.4 is the garbage so this is definitely gonna take a lot of getting used to to uh, not throw stuff away where you guys think you're going huh into the pit I see Oh, he's gone. Okay. Uh, speaking of pits, let's fill in this hole here. Okay. There we go. That's good, I guess. Let's come over here and fix up this little area. Right. I'm also used to uh, doors automatically opening as you walk into them. That's not going to happen anymore. <laughs> Okay, so we got that. We got general uh, starting stuff. 
I think we're doing pretty good, relatively. So now we can take these and start throwing them up. There we go. And I can take this. All. Break it. And place it right there. Alright. Um... I don't think we need that. I think we're fine. Okay. And we'll keep the wood platforms for now, just in case. There we go. Okay. So we're doing good. Let's plant... Uh, plant. Let's plant some of these trees back again. Uh, okay, yeah. So that does still work. Oh, dang. Well, I don't want that tree there. How does... I thought there was a setting for that. Um... Cursor. Lock on priority nearest line. Filling to cursor. Yes. Oh, there we go. not working. It should be allowing... Oh, there we go. I guess that wasn't close enough. Oh, okay, yep. Oh, dang it. That's annoying. <laughs> okay. That's weird. There we go. Okay. So, yeah, we're definitely gonna need a lot of wood, so let's just get that going right away. Uh, maybe I can't do it because of this. So that should be decent starting farm. Um, let us actually explore just a little bit. Let's build up to here. Uh, yeah, let's just use platforms, why not? these all into stairs when we finish. There we go. Okay, so let's... Holy crud, that scared me for a second there. I was very concerned as to why something was very rapidly approaching me. should work perfectly fine both ways. Nice! Alrighty. Why is that open? And now normal terraria music. Oh well. Um... Can I get one higher? No. Well, frick. Alright, let's do it this way then. There we go. And and I'm all out. Okay, so let's break these extras. Because we're going to need a lot of uh, starting platform stairs until we can uh, uh, get some better movement stuff. Unfortunately. Come on. Wow. What in the world are you? What the frick are you? Okay, I guess it- oh no, there it is again. It's like hiding like right here, I think? I can't see anything. Oh wait. Ow. Yeah, it's definitely there. Okay. Don't know what that's all about, but I got it. <laughs> that's weird. Alright, let's do this. Apparently, uh, what's your name? Lap. Apparently, Lap wants to uh, come visit. There we go. 
We're gonna need to chop these trees down. And if my theory of the bigger the tree, the longer it takes is true, then it'll take quite a long time. Well, maybe not. Okay. And there we go. Okay. If you guys couldn't tell, obviously the starting of the game is going to be pretty slow. Not exactly my fault, so you guys can't really blame me for it. Wait, oh, I can... I didn't know that. I wish I knew that. Okay, anyway. There we go. Okay, so now we can just hammer them all to make them stairs. Nice. There we go. Nice! Okay. Oh, we got some uh, sunflowers. Let's get a couple of them. Because those will definitely help out with uh, mob spawning and all that. Thanks for that. Got a bit of a uh, lake situation going on here. Not really thrilled about that, but whatever. that. Okay, now I can just bridge across. I don't think I have enough platforms to do so, but oh well. I can make more. Uh, what level of um, uh, ore can I mine with this pick? I completely forgot. Is it lead? Because there's some lead right here I could get if that is the case. There we go. Howdy! Trying to kill me, huh? Let's try and get this. Hey, it is lead. Okay, that's good. Ooh. Oh, hello. Not thrilled about you. Although my squirrel is doing the job. Nice. I do also see that thing up there. Wolf from Rover? Whatever that is. Hello. Let's take that. I don't even know what all that is, but I will take it. Oh, I wasn't close enough. Okay, so what did I get? I got lead, grenades, rope, that's good. Uh, herb bag, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Ow. Uh, let's see. Eh, might as well equip that for now, just temporarily. Okay, so nothing new. Not bad. What in the world are you? Gyrator? That's weird. What are these things? It says they're from the Calamity mod, so... I'm, I mean, they must play some important role eventually, right? Okay. On the bright side, they are actually pretty easy to kill. Is there a way I can see... Oh, right. I forgot about that. <laughs> okay. Uh, is there a way I can see what this is used for? Um, I suppose that would be talking to the, uh, the guide, wouldn't it? No, it doesn't work that way. Maybe? Huh. Oh, you know what? I bet that thing is there to see how to make something. Like, for example, how to make a chest, maybe? No. Huh. Group 98. Don't know what that's all about. Okay, I don't know. I don't know what that's all about. Ooh, a tree. Is it a good tree? It's not a good tree. Although, somehow we already got vines? That's weird. wonder how that happened. Oh, there's also, uh, sand. Is that just like an oasis of some kind, or is that an actual desert? I wonder. Well, judging by the uh, 
change there. I'm assuming it's the desert. Awesome. Okay. There we go. That was you. Uh, let's get some cacti. Just because. It might come in handy. Oh, and some sand to grow cacti. Are you some kind of enemy? I hope not. Okay, I guess you're like a tumbleweed of some kind. Okay, and then here's one of those uh, uh, antlion pits. That's cool. Okay. So far, we're, I think we're off to a pretty decent start. Okay. Well, that worked. Let's build over this. What was that? That was. I'm a little bit worried. Okay, there's that. Oh, there's another gyrator. I think I hear a uh, ant lion down there. Okay, let's kill this guy. There's also a vulture. I think my squirrel went down there. Dang. Oh well. Uh, it is becoming night. We should probably go back now. Also, we're getting kind of close to the time I wanted to end for today. Also, um, uh, off camera, I am going to do a little bit of uh, work. You know, killing enemies, um, uh, building the house, all that kind of stuff. Nothing big. If anything big does end up happening, I will immediately stop the game, or if possible, I will immediately uh, try and record whatever it is. So, yeah. There we go. Talent. Okay, so that's definitely new. Oh, there's a thing up there again. Was that a probe, I think it said? I don't know where it is. Oh, there it is. Drone. A Wolfram drone. I'm going to have to check with the guide to see what that scrap is good for. There we go. Alright, so let's just head back now. I wonder if I can move this thing. Can I move it, maybe? Configure? No. Okay, well, whatever. And yes, there are a bunch of cheats there. I am not going to use them unless absolutely 100% necessary, though. And... The chances of anything like that being needed are pretty low, so yeah. There we go. Hi, how are you? Dead? Good. Alright, so let's head back then. Hopefully we don't encounter anything too terrible on our way back. Not entirely sure what uh, night will bring. Oh, we could probably mine copper with this copper pick, I would imagine. That would make sense, right? It's so weird because I haven't started a game of Terraria in such a long time. Like, the last time I started a game was back in May? When 1.14 came out? So, yeah. Now, let's put this one, like, way over here. Awesome. Okay, also, let's make a uh, campfire. Because everyone should have a campfire. Um, I think that's good. Okay, yeah. So let's put the campfire and this thing actually down below our house. Okay, so this is a two wide. I think this is a three wide, so we need a five wide area. There we go. Campfire over here. Thing right here. Okay. Nice. Let's close that. Close that. Okay. Um, I want to move this to the middle. There we go. 
And we have another chest that we can put down. There we go. Okay, I want to talk to this guy. Crafting. What is this used for? Oh, I can make armor? Oh, interesting. Okay. But I do need an energy core, it looks like. How do I get an energy core? I can make a fishing pole, an axe, hammer, pickaxe, a staff, a blade, a bow, knives, and then a controller? Oh, it's a summon. Interesting. That's eight. That's ten. So that would be better. Interesting. Okay. Then what about the desert feathers? Sun spirit staff. Oh, this takes a lot of other stuff. Oh god, no, that's that's already, uh, what? Hard mode? I think the Forbidden Fragment is a hard mode thing, isn't it? Okay, Sandstorm in the bottle. You can craft that now, that's cool. Okay, what about the Talons? Oh, you can make a painting. Talon arrows. Okay. Every fourth arrow stuck to an enemy gouges them. Interesting. Storm, Flare... When used with the Grand Flare Gun, something might happen. Interesting. Also, I just noticed, there haven't been any stars falling. Huh. That's kind of strange, isn't it? Huh. Weird. Oh well. Anyway, let's just store everything in here for now. Because we don't really need anything just yet. Cacti is an ammo? That's weird. Whatever. Uh, okay, anyway, we are uh, getting pretty low on time. And I'd say that's a pretty decent uh, ending point. So, yeah, I think I'm going to have to end it there. If you guys did enjoy this episode, then please leave a like and subscribe. And uh, I hope you guys are as excited for this series as I am. So, uh, yeah, uh, that's going to have to be it. Thank you all for watching, and have yourselves a great day then. Goodbye. I would like to give a massive shout out to my first ever Patreon backer, Nancy. I can't even begin to explain how much your support means to me. So thank you. Thank you very, very much. If you'd like to see your name at the end of my videos, just follow the Patreon link in the description below.